Hello everyone. You know things that happen purposefully. One day my friend told me her story about some problems with hearing. I know that the teachings of Grigory Kravovo contain um, answers for the questions and I read his work, The Teaching About God, section Hearing of God, dated November 22, 2003. And today I'll be happy to share some excerpts uh, with you to address the issue of hearing. When we consider the level of hearing of God, for example, the um, organ of God hearing, in this case we consider it close to the perception phase of man. Well, for example, if we consider the vision of God, God who is all-seeing and omnipresent, that is immediately a macro level, a macro scale of the action of God. And when we consider hearing of God, we must first of all consider the parameters of hearing of God. That is what he hears uh, from the point of view of man. This is understandable, for example, uh, when we speak about the sound of the sea and foliage and others. But uh, God, who creates reality, hears something else which is more inclusive. In hearing, we can spread the knowledge of, of this system by analogy uh, with man, considering, for example, hearing some distant uh, waterfall which is not nearby man. But man can hear this sound of waterfall. And then the technique of this transfer expresses in general the idea of God. That distance develops hearing towards God's perception of some processes. So, hearing of God means, first of all, to hear God's presence there. God is always there, where there is some kind of a process, and also even when it is not. Hearing is a separation characteristic that we can relate both with God and man at the same time. And uh, when we begin to implement it, when we carry out control, we can say that it is uh, sufficient to hear the positive level of event or a call of a positive event. Dr. Grigory Krabovoy um, uh, states uh, uses such a word combination as a call of event. It has already been in your life when you could feel that call. Uh, either in your daily life, your business, you could feel it, you could hear that. And then we get the accomplished result, the co accomplished control. Uh, that's a aha moment. That's done. Uh, Dr. Grigory Krabovoy says, therefore, by analogy with God, man can hear exactly the call of the event, calling out to the positive implementation of the facts, calling with the word or the sound. Uh -huh. So, with the sound of the vibration of the level that corresponds to the level of the human soul. And indeed, uh, there was originally the word. Hence, the word was perceived by the soul. And when the word was perceived by the soul, we can say that the soul of God is manifested in the word. The word which implements the creative construction, uh, that is, fullness of God's soul. We can select a particular sound for hearing of God and analyze that God heard the sound, for example, which he produced, and analyze uh, that God heard the sound, for example, uh, the sound that was the sound of going to him, and that's uh, the local sound. And then uh, we can clearly trace the action of God in relation to himself. When we commit such an act, it is quite obvious that we can, for example, hear the own body, how the body generally works. Uh -huh. uh, the first characteristic of the work of the body is quietness of its work in terms of perception. For example, when you physically even 
um, passing by people in general if one does not have uh, osteoarthritis uh, for example then the body works silently or uh, if there are no special other physical problems therefore a canon of work of the body is as though it's silence in terms of the presence of god for example the reaction of auditory parameters and in terms of the fact that if god at the moment out there does some work of the future of events of the body then man at this point in terms of silence in the work of his organism helps god in these events in order to hear how God is working, it is necessary, as it were, to be quiet, not to produce reflected auditory signals, because if to do it, there would be a lot of mutual reflections of signals. And if we find that mm, if light uh, is originally a quiet level of performance, then intersecting light does not create vibrations until it passes into a dense body. Then hearing sound creates multiple vibrations in the limited quiet environment. From this we can conclude how it is possible to create human body or a part of a body for example by two parameters vision and hearing. Moreover, you can use uh, two parameters, human hearing and vision of man. For this purpose, it is necessary to proceed from the fact that sound is a multi-parameter system that, um, when being reflected, and uh, it provides the level of relations diversity. Vision, for example, directed to infinity is a level which provides a platform to hearing, supposedly to create a number of light actions on this platform. We can see how hearing and vision and the event itself combine, for example, in our own body. Exactly when we perceive a sound wave, we can see it in general, a certain tension of this sound wave. Either it is in the water or just um, the sound is very strong. If it is very powerful, then we feel it uh, like the sound wave. So, to transform the sound wave to save, to rescue the world, we have to, in general, to convert the sound into the own body through volition, uh, volitional control. And, for example, get control out of the sound wave. We can get actually uh, control energy or power from that sound. While light can be uh, completely identical to the sound wave of the, uh, if the light is favorable to humans. That is for God, the sound and vision. Optics and the word are the same when it comes to favorable uh, development of events for man. When we consider exactly a prognostic level, uh, then we can say very clearly that sound vibrations have often a primary role in prognostication, uh, in forecasting in general, or shall we say the primary function in terms of uh, what um, you predict correctly. Because if we know the sound of the car engine, the sound of it does not change then in the future. While control can be changed, the light, the location of the car, so, and in the future, you can clearly fix just the hearing factor. What you may think that now it sounds just like in the future. Or the same fridge. Right? In, um, in principle, the sound of rustle of leaves, tree leaves, also does not mainly change at this point for a um, for given wind. Therefore, hearing is um, a coordinate system that allows you to build future events uh, accurately if we distinguish auditory parameters. As um, God originally created the world, 
It allows him to create the future of uh, humanity accurately. When he knows that the sound form of the world will for sure track development of mankind. And it turns out that when we work through the word, for example, through the sound form, maybe even not necessarily pronouncing a word, but just simply working with the sound vibrations, transmitting, for example, uh, either in light, then supposedly again into sound vibration. So we can see that God originally created the whole world completely accurate and, as it were, absolutely clear, first of all, to himself. For he still understands everything, but due to some uh, macro form, uh -huh, when the spirit, the soul and body, his physical body, integrated in terms of common understanding of what he does, God knows every next step. For example, resurrection. A resurrection has happened. It means that for sure it, uh, has hap uh, it would have happened again. If the word had been spoken uh, from God's uh, perspective of view, articulation and action, even every thought, is an action from the God's point of view. When we do as if here in general, it turns out the opposite, that is, through the word, on the contrary, determine the location of the event, then for the soul of God, we are doing a direct task. That is why it is clear that universal resurrection will happen. So the word of God is infinite event, said in word, that is giving divinity uh, to uh, the event. And that's why the word originally comes from God. And when we, for example, start um, as if analyzing this word, we get that some order of words can lead to healing of the disease. Grigory Grabov says, well, for example, I say, let's see God because we can hear him. If to use this phrase, for example, to cure the gastrointestinal tract, indeed it will heal. But we just need to add gastrointestinal tract after this phrase. I'll repeat, let us see God, because we can hear Him. And you add uh, gastrointestinal tract, for example. And it turns out that there are control techniques associated with the transformation of words into the audio form that carries the light of life. It turns out that life of God is the infinite value in terms of light. God sees the word life as the infinite light. And when we, for example, we presume then, where is God? He is life himself. Then he begins uh, to see himself in terms of eternal development. It is clearly that uh, he always sees himself, but in this case, he sees himself as a man who sees him as the level which gives him life, and as well as eternal life. Then it turns out that in order one man gave eternal life to another, man in terms of assistance there, providing some level of technological level of cognition, then it turns out precisely in the teaching section, um, it is a transmission of words corresponding to life. There are the sound forms and in such a way that God hears. Hears, uh, so it is necessary to transfer, to transmit, so that God can hear these words. This is the structure of public education, hearing this structure. 
the technology of exactly the teaching about God. When we uh, consider hearing of God in terms of how he uh, hears your words, which, for example, you, uh, dist uh, you um, transfer to prevent a possible disaster at a nuclear reactor there or on the airplane anywhere than anybody, uh, then it turns out that God hears because he does not want uh, it. He does not want the disaster either. And he does so that it would not happen. Uh, hearing arises from the co-directional motions, in fact, motions of the same uh, events in general. Well, uh, let's take the same car. All cars, when they move in the same form, then as if moving in space, yeah, uh, somewhere the future shape of the space is provided in the form of some streets or roads there. And they move into this form where the outer shape may be the form given by God in terms of human perception. And another driver cannot hear the sound of a nearby car, but he also moves in the same direction. At the same time, uh, he understands uh, what sound has another car. Here the sound is converted into what he understands that is if it moves, then uh, the car has this sound. And it turns out that there is a form where uh, motion occurs because there is a motion into one point, one spot. For example, to rescue it from the possible global uh, explosion of nuclear reactor there, uh, so it works like that. And the motion of God and human motion is a silent feature from a point of view of an external observer. That is why the presence of God cannot be heard and often cannot be seen. Um, and uh, because of the alignment or motion in addressing the nodal points of the universe so that there would be not global catastrophes. There is always a factor in this. That is the essence of man. Why man, in fact, is always macro-creative? Uh, Just not at all, for example, um, can see this construction of the own essence or of own being. And the sound forms allow to give a declared, a located form to this essence of man. That is enough to say for a man, I want to do good work out there. Specifically, and uh, so his essence reveals. When it unfolds, it starts getting outlines of some words in optics, there are some light constructions. And this is the construction that God hears again. God hears immediately, in addition, of course, that he always hears everything. But it's meant uh, God hears on the basis of a free will of man, who sent this sound to God to hear him. For good deal, Goodwill is to make us God. You may think, what would be your words of life? Be generous to share the words of life with your beloved families and people around. Thank you for your kind attention. Wish you to hear in a renewed way while being aware of your essence. Happy, healthy, eternal life and practice. You're welcome to the official web page of an individual entrepreneur, Grigory Krabovoy, PR Consultant Technologies of Eternal.